Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro, Dollar, Euro, USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So this is the four chart of DXY, US Dollar Currency Index. And as we can see, that DXY is showing good signs of recovery. And right now standing at 111.33. This is the current market price. So overall, you can see that DEXY is forming higher highs and going up. So the recovery may continue on DXY. And if the recovery on DXY continues uh, today and tomorrow, then there will be some weakness on the chart of Euro dollar. So keep your eyes on the chart of DXY. Okay. Uh, tomorrow will be very, very important because FOMC is coming up. So there will be some crazy volatility in the market, FOMC even. Then um, on Friday, we have got NFP. So this week, there are many events that will shape the direction of DXY as well as the other pairs. So please be careful and uh, do not gamble with your hard-earned money. So this is the photo start of Euro dollar. As you can see, the Euro dollar is also showing some sort of recovery right now. But do not forget that the overall trend of Euro USD is extremely bearish. As we all know, Euro USD has seen extreme selling last couple of months. Okay, though Euro USD tried to recover, but it is showing signs of weakness again. So in this chart right now, at least for today, okay, as I can see that I do not have any proper support in the market right now. Okay this level can act as support as of now there has been some considerable price injection around this level as well but we do not have any strong support okay in case there's a sudden fall in the market then yes the next big support will be around 96509700 before that we have got 9850 as well but as i just said that I'm not very sure about the support at the 9850 level. I'm not very confident. There can be some minor support around here if there is not much volatility. If the volatility remains low, market remains slow, okay, then you can expect the market to uh, bounce from 9850 level, okay. Otherwise, the strong support zones are around 9750 or 9700 only, okay. So, these are the support levels okay nine the strong ones the good ones are quite far away and if possible try to watch the chart of dxy as well the dxy's move will also play a big role if market goes up from here then as of now okay if market goes up from here as of now we can look for um, sell on rise okay we can look for a sell on rise kind of strategy okay so first of all we have 9935 okay 0 0.9930 0 0.9930 to 0 0.9935 as the first resistance for the market okay listen to me carefully as you have as you have already seen the dxy okay dxy is uh, right now correcting so if dxy starts going up again if after some correction dxy starts going up again then there's a high chance that market will take resistance around this level and we will see a reversal if market reverses from 0 0.9930 0 0.9935 level we can go for a sell okay but keep in mind on the chart of euro usa right now levels are not very strong so as a result follow proper risk management if possible do not go for heavy lot size things can be quite risky as well personally i'm avoiding euro usd for last couple of weeks okay because euro usd doesn't pay me um, well <laughs> the frequency doesn't match i guess secondly okay second resistance is around 0.9955 to 0 0.9960 this is the second resistance as you can see that uh, previously market has faced some kind of rejection here again um, as well as as well as we have fibonacci 38.2 percent retracement level so this level can act as second resistance and thirdly we have resistance around 0 0.9980 0 0.9985 
five. This is the third resistance for the market. So in case Euro USD shows a good amount of buying today, then obviously you should avoid taking sell position. But in case the selling pressure continues, and if you see market reversing from these levels, then you can consider taking a sell position as well. But keep in mind, no level is permanent in the market. So as a result, when you see the market has reached the level, observe the market first and see how the market is reacting. If market reverses, if you see market is showing price rejection from above, you can then only take a sell position and if possible, try to get additional confirmation from DXY. If you see that while, while taking sell position on Euro dollar, okay, DXY is also going up or DXY is recovering. Okay, that can be an additional confirmation. And whatever do follow proper risk management. As I already said, that many events are coming up this week. So be, please be careful and see this is my analysis. I can be wrong as well, isn't it? No trader is 100% accurate. So, so uh, protect your capital, follow risk management. Bye-bye, take care.